We now return to Let's Play the Guild. What's going on here? Employees have repeatedly left the gates open overnight because of the bad weather. 15% of your goods are unusable. What? Well, shit. That does mean no good whatsoever. Get up, you bastard. Okay, so anyway, um, I've decided that I'm just going to continue playing through this. We'll see what happens next season when I get my AP and I can choose another job. If it costs too much to put down another building, I mean, if it's going to cost like 7000 and uh, you know, we basically are just going to be better off going until the... Uh, Oh. Okay, we have another, uh, we've got another guy. Um, if, if we're just going to be better off going with the, uh, this guy, Prefect Norbert. <sighs> what the hell am I saying? If it's going to cost like 7000 to put down a new business, we'll just go till the 10000 and end the series. Um... Because I'd rather just get this done and over with, rather than stretch it out and uh, redo it. Frankly, I don't like this game nearly as much as I do the uh, the Guild 2. Why are there Vagabond camps in town? I'm not sure I like that. What can I purchase here? Well, the Vagabond camps are the wandering entertainers. Um, that's what that is about. So... Those uh, are two new guys there who have shown up. Let's hope that we don't have any competition myself for graveyards. I suppose I could hop into the map here and have a look. I mean, it kind of doesn't look like it. So that's good, at least. Uh, people will be renting from my graves. I suppose that would be something to look at if uh, if we did have an, an issue there. Can I go into the thing here? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? The guardhouse only costs 7000 Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, so we're just going to play through this, and if that is the case, if I'm just going to have to push through to the 10,000. I will probably get up, Andrew. I will probably, um... He's probably not doing so well. We'll have to raise another one, and really I don't care at this point. Um... I will probably just sort of start skipping ahead. I mean, I'll, I'll probably record just in case something interesting happens, but there's no point really in having another three episodes of me here just watching these guys and then talking about uh, how I can't do anything, you know, over and over. So, um, yeah, I think that'll be better than we can just get the series done and over with. So we do have some, uh, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and take those now. Because I'm getting impatient. And uh, hopefully... My grave is actually not doing so well. I need to have someone start taking care of graves. But what I really need is to get this guy situated in one of these. Now, I guess for my own purposes, since I do have a uh, a kid who's not going to be able to do anything for like 11 more turns because apparently they have to be 12 before they can take over, um, it might be good to have that grave, have but, hmm. Reginald Scrop. Let's find out what that's about. Theft. Big theft. Uh, I, th I believe we're probably still spying on him, though, right? So it's continuous until you pull them off of it, I guess. Which is fine. 
because I think we'll be better off the more crimes we catch him committing. Didn't lower the price very much. That's good. Yes. I mean, not that uh, not that anything really is going to come of that. It's most likely just going to be a. There is a a guy. Wait, he just came into my place? He might possibly be trying to buy from me. Um, but because I've turned off the sale of this stuff, he won't be able to buy it directly from me. Well, that's uh, disconcerting. It was Bennett, he said. Well, it said. Gravedigger Bennett. So now i got to find out where my competition is. I suppose I could just try and look for him through uh, this stuff. Never fall. I mean, this is. Oh, there he is. This guy. Nobleman Bennett, houseman. A grave has been rented. Grave was rented. Good. Um, oh, what? It became unusable. Why? Uh, good. Well, good. I'm glad that we're renting that out. Look how much money we have right now. So maybe, actually, I mean, th that's kind of the thing. We need people to be renting this stuff. Um, because that's going to be kind of important. But, see, we're, we're going to run into the thing right here, right now, where I can't expand beyond this unless I expand the graveyard, um, at which point, like I said, I mean, we might just, might just make that money anyhow. Yeah, it's Alexander Beltmaker. So, why was my theft evidence gone? It became unusable. That's not cool. Uh, was this guy... He's still being followed, so he can still... Let's go look at the laws. Was a law changed? Oh, fuck you. I should be able to go in there regardless. We'll have to go in there tomorrow. Let's just speed up time for now. Time to go home. Okay, well, we made a bit of money that time around. A uh, profit of a thousand. Um, I really wish this graphical thing was not doing this because it's really hard to see, but I now have a cash fortune of 4,200, which is really good. Um, that thousand... Okay, the sales tax is what took out a good chunk. Sales tax and tithe actually took out the 200, but uh, just on sale of goods alone, I made my 1,200, and I'm pretty sure I only sold, well, I sold four, and that was about 300 apiece, so yeah, that makes sense. So where is my rental money coming in, then? Elsewhere, 13 cardinals invite scholars of the church from all over the world to Pisa for a council that should bring an end to the schism of the French and Roman factions that has existed since 1378. At that time, the English and the Holy Roman Empire of the German nation on one side and France on the other could not agree on a common pope. 12 AP! Yeah, there we go. You can acquire civic rights. I, I can? Gather Andrew has unfortunately died. Well, I beat him a few too many times. Okay, we'll have to pick up another one. Helen has died. I have to pick up another one. Uh, died this year. Okay, yeah. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Why is this telling me twice? So I'm going to have to raise a couple new ones. Uh... I'm a respected member of town, and I can now obtain civic rights. Oh, well, um, that's okay then. For only 500? Yes. You'll be notified if your request enjoys the goodwill of the town councillors. I thought we needed to get to 10,000 for that. Well, good. That makes it a little bit better. Now we can possibly start going for office. I don't mind that at all. We now need to, uh, to raise a few people, however. We should probably start from the back, huh? Because their graves are decaying. So we'll go ahead and, and grab you, and we'll go ahead and grab you. Now one of these, yeah, it's you, town clerk, that we cannot actually utilize. Um, what? What? There are no raw materials in one of your buildings. Beatrice Underhill is now 
petition, patrician. Uh, we're out of skulls, I guess. And you notice a strange scent from Spy Tristram Fulham, which awakens deep dislike of the bearer in you. Uh, as enhanced building. Okay. There are too many damn announcements going on here. I'm now a citizen. Well, that's good. Let's take care of this first, though. Uh, we need... From now on, you will go by the following title, citizen. Go look for skulls. Beatrice Underhill. To tie the knot for life. Uh. You can take part in the auction of lease rights in the mine. Ah, damn! I, I definitely don't have enough for that. Um. Why? I guess that's one of my, uh... Oh, now I can get into her thing. Is this also... Who owns this? This is Beatrice Underhills. And this is Helen Yodelman. Oh. Did I... Who... I, I am so terrible that I don't even freaking remember who I'm married to. Matilda Birdfield. Um, where was her... I thought we found her thing. Was I looking at the wrong thing? Was I completely mistaken about whom I was... Uh, yes, is the answer. Yes is the answer. <laughs> uh, whatever. What now? Helen Yodelman is now patrician. See, we're on normal difficulty, but I feel like um, I feel like the game is cheating. Let's uh, let's find a new job. Let's find a job as I was going to go with traveling entertainer, but uh, we kind of already have a lot of those. Uh, possibly we should go as a thief or a robber. That way I can start building up, or even a guardsman. That way I can start building up my own forces. That could be a thing. Uh, of course, theft and all that are illegal. I could go perfumer. Let's, because uh, I mean, this is a fairly easy one, as I recall, because they just go out and gather flowers and then they make perfume out of it. It's it's a fairly simple and straightforward thing. So yeah, let's do it. So I'm now a master grade boiler. Good. Uh, where is... Why would it be under churches? Must be under handicraft businesses. It is 6,000. Okay. Well, if more people can start renting graves from me, that would be phenomenal. Um, yeah, you are kind of wasting your time here, aren't you? Because you can't do anything. I really should have had you out there picking skulls as well. Um, let's actually have you picking on some bones, though. That's not where you do that. Pick on some bones. Okay. So do, did we actually have anything in here? Yes, we did. And they're fairly well sorted there, too. Pretty good price. So let's have you go do that. We'll make a little bit more money. And, um... I don't know, I guess to extend... The Let's Play, I could go with the Perfumer, and then I'd have two sets of income. Uh, and I could build it right next to myself here. Which isn't bad. Just down the street from my actual home. Uh, how much does it take to do this? Oh, right. Well, now that I've got a new... A new office. Ah, damn. I'm gonna have to get in there a little bit quicker next time. Oh, good. Well, at least then you can get started on... Making some of these again. Who was it? Oh, both of you, actually. Fine. Get in there. The price has gone up on those skull candles again. It's 388. Now would be a good time. Well, now it's down to 349. Uh, maybe it's 388 if I was selling it out of my shop, which is something I can do. In fact, let's go. Oh, I should actually send you back before we. Move on as such. 
Let's go back down here, and I'm going to come in here, and I think if I, yeah, if I raise that red bar, we will now sell directly out of my shop if anyone comes in, and that's, a, I mean, at 400, I'm okay with anyone coming in here. Um, actually, maybe I should lower that to half, I don't know, I mean, obviously, I, we'll see what happens when the skull is made. Um, but I think the red indicates how much supply you're willing to sell. And then the green is, of course, what you actually have in stock. And then the the red, the emptiness is just, um, whatever. Hurry up on that. It would help if we actually had, I mean, this is kind of the downside of, uh, the necromancer, I guess, is that you're not consistently working. Let's go ahead and give these guys some more some more food, especially since two of them are brand new to the whole thing. Okay, we have stopped. It appears that both are lying down. Well, seeing as how I beat the last guy to death, I don't necessarily... You know, Dominic, you've been around for a while. We'll get you up and possibly replace you. How are you doing, anyway? He's got a negative 68 fortune. Well, you don't need anything. We can just feed you rats, and you can stay down here in a nice cool dungeon. Well, it's not really a dungeon, but... That's what they call it. I'm sure. Uh, we do have some AP that I can use to train some skills. Who is this, and what are they building? Holy crap. Uh, we need handicraft. I need handicraft because I need improvements to my productions. Eventually, well, in fact, I could do it right now. I could expand a new room to give me new skills. Um, One of your creatures returns from their search for bones. Well, that's good. We actually kind of need someone working to make ectoplasm. Uh... You were very slowly working on that, and you were no longer working on that. You know what? Yes, Get in here so we can make some freaking candles, please. Dominic, you're worthless. It cost me 7,000. Yeah. Uh, renovating. Well, that's another thing, too. I mean, we are down a little bit. I could renovate the place, and I believe that will improve... I think it improves production. I think it just wears out over time. Let's find out if we did ever move. We did not seem to move the town clerk in there. Okay, well, it's time to uh, push time forward again. We could really be helped out with more people dying in town. Perhaps a, a thief was actually the better way to go, or a robber. Yeah, probably. Could have killed more people. 800, only 800 profit. Mm. The Council of Pisa leads to a three-way schism. Pope Gregory the Twelfth of Rome and Benedict the Thirteenth of Avignon are deposed, and Alexander V is elected as new pope. Instead of the dispute being settled, the deposed two, and Rupric, king of the Holy Roman Empire, refused to recognize the council's verdict. Now suddenly the church has three popes. Yay! A praiseworthy effort. Of course, that does not. Uh, to improve your skills and that does not truly affect me. A relative has died. Ellen Sheriff has died. That was... who? Was that my... ah, uh, that was my mother. Okay. My mother has died. Well... Erwin's already... already three. And he's Catholic? Did we convert? Matilda apparently did. Matilda converted to Catholicism. I am the only one who has not converted yet. Everyone else is Catholic. Okay, well, that's uh, that's good that the game uh, informed me that that was going on. I appreciate that. Are any of you fucking working? 
We have almost got one skull candle. Almost. Almost. For crying out loud. Let's just speed this up. Income tax level is low. I'm hoping that's what that actually stands for. Reginald Scrop is now patrician. Yeah. Was I? I mean, I haven't heard back from my spy in a while. The whole empire is mourning its sovereign. The Holy Roman Emperor is dead. Yay! News has spread like wildfire. An artist has arrived at the marketplace to recite poetry. Let's go to the poetry. Where are you? I could go to the notice board. Uh, now, if I tear one of these down, I will gain a little bit of uh, relationship with the person for whom I tear it down. Town clerk Alexander Beltmaker is lying in my... No, 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 no. I think he just reserved a grave. I think that's why they're empty. It's because it's reserved. He's not actually in there. He's just renting it. That's where the rental comes from. I was going to say, that to, to post something like that about a dead man is a little bit uh, iffy. Oh, now you guys get up. There's a rat. Interesting. Okay, now this is speeding up a little bit. Good. The Emperor is dead. Long live the Emperor. Oh, good. We've got a new Emperor. Are you going over there? I thought you were going over there to eat the rat. Apparently not. Okay, well, everyone's finally getting this going. Um, I guess if we come out here, we'll be able to see if anyone is moving in. Tithe has gone up. That's not good. Original Scrop is intimidating me with black threats. You decide not to plan anything in your back room until winter against Original. That son of a bitch. Can I actually post something here? Okay, apparently not. I want to find out what my... That is not it. That is not it. That, where the fuck do I... <sighs> That that definitely could have been laid out a little bit better. So Reginald, um Ah, ah, I know what to do with you, you son of a bitch. Uh yes. Select the helper. Uh Dominic. The money you have invested in watching Tristan Fullman. Is ex exhausted. Your informant considers the business finished and you never got anything. Okay, but that's not who I was... It's not who I was against at the moment. I was trying to spy on him, for whom I still have espionage going. Hmm. Well, here we are. Um, it seems like the best I can do, really, is wait for the influx of money from someone who is renting out a grave anticipating their death. Or indeed, someone who has died and will be resting in the grave. Right now, I've only got the two. Um... I'd really like to know what the hell this is. Attack. One of your transports is attacked by Brian Isley's underhanded robbers. Son of a bitch. I don't know why I'm actually going to this, because I don't have anyone to protect myself. But we can see what combat is like, I guess. Okay. Your one carts are rumbling gently along the road toward the marketplace. Suddenly, there is a rustle in the undergrowth. Brian's three robbers. Oh dear! If only you had thought of bringing an escort. Leave a few goods, leave some goods, or leave all my goods. There's absolutely no way I can do that. Now, probably leaving a few is not going to help. He's got three robbers. Leaving half is better, obviously, than... Uh, oh, my, actually, my full value is 1,800. So I'd be leaving like three-fourths there. Let's try leaving half and see if we get away with it. Oh, horror, the load is too heavy. The robbers are already taken to the streets. God help you, there's going to be a fight. Motherfucker. A black day. 
You have not managed to fend off the underhanded attack of Brian Isley. All your men have been killed or captured, and your transport has also been plundered. Well, motherfucker. Okay. Well. So is my transport back here, or no? Where is he? And my transport could also probably use a little bit of repair. So... Hmm. Didn't I have one of you bastards going off after this guy? Just to make him... Okay, well now, anyway, I know who to... Uh... I mean, surely I should have some evidence from that. I mean, you would think you wouldn't need... I guess maybe as a witness, but uh, you would think that... That'd be... Under whom would this be? Opponents? I guess we're going to have to go digging and find this bastard. Short Loaf. That's a good name. Church Authority. Now, obviously, this is not going to be everybody in town. Um, so it's going to be really hard now to actually find the bastard who did this to me. Because I apparently can't find said person. That's really great. Well, good. Um, wait a minute. My, my own family. This is these are the relationships of my own family. Perhaps it's because I, I um, I don't want to spy on her, because we're of of different faith. I wonder if I can go in, and uh, convert. Change your faith. There are no raw materials in one of your buildings. Oh, okay. That is, um... We are apparently at a cathartic place. Uh, three pieces, fine. Um, you guys now need to make ectoplasm, but what you really need to do is go find more bones. So, we'll have Dominic go find more bones. Go find... Go find more bones. You two will go find more skulls. You probably don't have anything left there now. You were just an empty fucking cart. Well, that's a setback, and in future I'll probably want to put a, an escort on that. Great. That was a considerable amount of money, actually. That did not help me at all to have lost that. Um, price has gone down, too, so it's going to be even harder in future. Oh, fuck it. I guess I'll have to fix my fucking cart, too, which is going to put me back even more. Well, okay, here we are again uh, at the end of another episode where not much at all happened. I mean, the game is obviously now picking up. People are uh, bullying me a bit, and because I don't have the money, I'm really unable to do jack shit against that. But, um, I, I guess... You know, to be honest, I could probably sit out one episode's worth, or in this case it'd be half an hour's worth of game, and come back, and we'd probably be just a little bit further along without anything major happening. I think I'll do that. I'll give that a try. I mean, I'll I'll record it just in case, but I might not upload it, because, uh, frankly, I don't think there'd be anything interesting towards that. So, I'll end this one here, and uh, I guess I'll see you next next time.